Now, for the second year in a row, soccer players on a high school team find themselves in hot water. That's because of the accusations about them making racial slurs against the opponents. A year ago, it had to do with Connellsville against Penn Hills. This time around, parents are saying the issues have to do with a game against Taylor Alderdice. We have that story as we continue our coverage this morning on KDKA and Pittsburgh's CW. Amy Wattis has the latest on those accusations. This time, Connellsville soccer players are accused of making racial slurs towards a black and a Latino soccer player with the uh, Taylor Alderdice boys soccer team. Now, more than 30 Taylor Alderdice parents uh, have signed uh, an open letter to the WPIAL. The letter begins by stating racism is alive and well on the fields of Western Pennsylvania high school sports. It goes on to say, quote, no one addressed the inciting slurs and the Connellsville coach has denied wrongdoing by his players. The alleged incident happened September 1st during a tournament game along with other schools at Bell Vernon. In the letter to the WPIAL, parents also point out an incident that happened in 2018, which also involved the Connellsville boys varsity team where players used racially insensitive comments directed at Penn Hills players. Now, Pittsburgh Public Schools Superintendent Anthony Hamlet and administrators filed a complaint with the WPIAL regarding this incident. Hamlet goes on to say, while Connellsville administrators have been unable to substantiate the reports as part of this investigation, they are taking actions on their end to create a teachable moment for student athletes. Now, the parent letter to the WPIAL also mentions a change.org petition and has over 2,400 signatures. It demands that the PIAA and the WPIAL strengthen and enforce policies when it comes to racial intolerance. Now, KDKA also reached out to the WPIAL as well as the Connellsville School District, and we are still waiting to hear back from both of them. Outside of Taylor Alderdice High School, Amy Wattis, KDKA News.